apparently Trent Williams is going to play in this game. He didn't play in the last game, didn't practice today, going to play against the Cowboys, or he says he's intent on playing. Um, that's good news. And it, I've been waiting for that news. I, I was like holding off on making a prediction, but now that I hear that, I feel like I'm ready. How do you feel about this news? Yeah, I, I feel great about it. It sounds like he was pretty close to playing last week. Yeah. It's it's crazy, nope. right? Because I, I feel like if you were close, that was legit a playoff game for them. It was win or go home for the most part. So it was definitely a playoff game. Yeah. So I don't know well, how close he was. Last week. To me, like, didn't it seem that Kyle was a little surprised? I mean, I I, I he said I like you it. know, he couldn't he seemed surprised because the way that he spoke all week was he doesn't need to practice. I hope he, I mean if he can do if he can play. And I guess the way I saw it was I don't know, not in his body. Um, but I just can't believe that he he would have he could have gone on the field and been worse than Colton McKivitz. Not that McKivitz was terrible, but I feel like Trent Williams is is the kind of guy who is very conscious of his stats. And he was the highest graded PFF dude of all time. And he like ended the season that way. Had he played in this game at like, you know, 50% or whatever, probably would have compromised that grade. And I wonder, like, did he say, "Ah, it's borderline, I'm going to say no. But now that it's the playoffs and like, you know, PFF grades no longer matter, it's like, oh yeah, like I'm down. Like I'll I'll put the brace (laughs) on. To me, like, all I'm saying is, I was extremely shocked when he didn't play. And I think everyone was. And I got a call from a coach, a former coach, you know, someone who used to be in the league a couple of days after saying, what the hell was that with Trent Williams? Like he couldn't have put an elbow brace on. And like, cause usually the expectation with offensive linemen is, you know, you got a broken hand you play through it. You, you Anything you play through it, right? You can do wrap it up, tape it up, brace it up. Anyway, um, I, all I'm saying is I'm getting to know Trent Williams. And in hindsight, I'm not surprised he didn't play in the season finale. And I'm definitely not surprised he's going to strap it up and play in the playoffs. Yeah, I, I'm not surprised he's going to play. I, you know, it's it is kind of interesting because this is a man that that calls himself the Silverback. Yeah, and <clears throat> I, I got to believe that he's every. I mean, that dude's a bad boy. I'll yeah. tell you what, watching this guy on film is a pleasure week in and week out. He just bullies defensive linemen and backs it's great to watch but yeah i you know i i don't know if i'll go as far as you but i definitely think that he he is conscious of those things remember this is a guy that took like 0.1 million extra just just so that he could be the highest paid tackle in the league right there's some ego there for sure no and, doubt. and he deserves it there's nothing wrong with that. a little bit yeah. of aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is very conscious of those things too. Aaron Rodgers is the best of the best at his position, just like Trent Williams. And um, anyway, I feel like he's just conscious of his numbers, his stats, his grades. Anyway, Trent Williams coming back. Good news for the 49ers. That's huge. No, that's absolutely huge because this defensive line, you know, you look at it with Parsons right there. He's an absolute freak. And if Trent Williams isn't in, you've got to help on both sides potentially. You don't know where he's going to line up. Now it doesn't matter. Trent Williams on an island against Parsons. I'll take that matchup all day long. Hard to pick the Niners to beat the Cowboys without Trent Williams. That's all I'm saying. It's oh, hard. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Pick I, them I wouldn't. Yeah, not with confidence. Happy birthday, Grant. Thank you, Neil. Who's going to be the X factor? I'll give you the X factor. Ambry Thomas is the X factor. That's a good one. Because I feel like right now that defense is very solidified. And this kid is either going to play really well. And give them something that they have not had in a long time, which is two real legit corners. Or he's going to have moments where he has mental lapses and he's going to give up either big time touchdowns or penalties or what have you. It could go either way. I'm going to go with Ambry Thomas. I like that one. I'm also going to go with Jawan Jennings. He's really stepped up in the Kendrick Bourne role. He had two touchdowns last week. Uh, I think he's one of he's one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he is. All right. Uh, happy birthday, Grant. Thank you, David. California Bears says, I'm rooting for Philly because if they win, they get to play Green Bay and they are looking scary. I'm rooting for Philly, too, because I don't want to go to Green Bay. I don't want to go. <laughs> it's so cold. I don't want this cold and it's not easy to get there. You can't get direct flights. Like please. You can ride a bike to the stadium, Grant, from your hotel room like the players. It'll be fun. 